Hello, friends. We are back with another read aloud from our book titled Fables. Now, we know that fables are short stories that give us a moral or a lesson at the end. Now, we are reviewing our main idea in detail. So let's go ahead and jump in. We know that we can learn a lot just by reading the title. So at home, go ahead and read that title. And then you will know that this book, the main idea in this chapter is about the pelican and the crane. So now we know that this is going to be about a pelican and a crane. That's the main idea. Now let's look at the picture. See if you can find any details at home that will help you find the details that go along with the main idea even if they're the smallest details. All right, so now that we got a good chance to look at the picture, let's go ahead and dive in to the reading. While I'm reading, see if you can pick out some details that go along with the main idea. The pelican and the crane. The crane invited the pelican to tea. So nice of you to ask me to come, said the pelican to the crane. No one invites me anywhere. Entirely my pleasure, said the crane to the pelican, passing him the sugar bowl. Yes, thank you, said the pelican. He dumped half the sugar into his cup while spilling the other half on the floor. I'm going to take a pause and put a pause on it. I think that is a detail that goes along with the main idea. It's even in the picture here. Let's keep reading. I seem to have no friends at all, said the pelican. Do you take milk in your tea? Asked the crane. Yes, thank you, said the pelican. He poured some of the milk into his cup, but most of it made a puddle on the table. And as you can see, there's milk and sugar on that table that spilled over. I wait and wait, said the pelican. Nobody ever calls me. Will you have a cookie? Asked the crane. Yes, thank you, said the pelican. He took a large pile of cookies and stuffed them into his mouth. Here's another detail, and it's right here in the picture. His shirt front was covered with crumbs. I hope you will invite me again, said the pelican. Perhaps, said the crane, but I'm so very busy these days. Goodbye until next time. Said the pelican, he swallowed many more cookies. He wiped his mouth with the tablecloth and left. After the pelican had gone, the crane shook his head and sighed. He called for his maid to clean up the mess. All right, my goodness. So this chapter really gave us a lot of details. And it's already in the pictures for us. So we know that some of the details that go along with the main idea, the pelican and the crane, is that the pelican was very ill-mannered when he came to drinking tea and eating cookies. He spilled the sugar, he spilled the milk, and he stuffed his bill with cookies. Now let's see if we can guess or make a good prediction on what the moral or the lesson of the story is. When one is a social failure, the reasons are as clear as day. So the pelican was blaming everything on everyone else when clearly, if he had some better manners, maybe he would have more friends. Okay, so that is our story. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're able to pick out some details as we are reading along at home. Let's take another look at that picture here. Okay. Signing off.